12.56 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. There's a rumor going around that I am dead. And I feel like only stupid people are left online, pretty much. Like there's this little, you know, group of people on anecion.com that seem to be intelligent, compassionate, kind human beings. And then there's the rest of the internet, which is, I assume, primarily Gen Z. Just overwhelmingly, and this is, of course, ignoring, you know, the Fox News crowd, because obviously they're not Gen Z. Um, but there's just this overwhelming thing where people are so fucking stupid and will believe anything they read that I just don't have any faith in humanity anymore. Do you guys ever feel weird about that? That you could read an article saying, uh, I'm dead. Or you could read an article saying shit that's been debunked by the FBI, the police, the witness, the lawyers. I don't understand how you guys constantly ignore reality for the sake of your dumbass, druggy, no doubt, friends or whatever the fuck you hang out with. I don't know why you guys are so desperate for peer approval that your brain just turns off when shit's so obvious. I see people, like, literally right now, people on Twitter are celebrating my death. And I'm like, the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you celebrate someone losing their son or their ex-husband or <laughs> their father, their brother, their cousin, their friend? The fuck is wrong with you guys? What kind of shitty ass person celebrates someone's death? That's who the Onision bullies are, the Antios or the Onision haters. They're all the same thing. They're pieces of shit people who would celebrate the idea of someone dying. I don't know who came up with this rumor that I'm dead, but obviously it wasn't me because here I am, not agreeing with the rumor. Thanks to the fucking bullshit rumors people spread about me, I lost my YouTube career. I lost my ability to monetize on TikTok and you now and a number of other sites. Because YouTube doesn't give a shit about the truth. YouTube doesn't give a shit about what the authorities say. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if OJ Simpson was fucking monetized on this site despite how much people hate him. Because he's not as hated as me. All YouTube cares about is maintaining their sh shares in stock. Like fucking Google Alphabet, whatever the fuck the name of their sh stock is. They want to keep their prices up. And if they, f anyone finds out that YouTube is, is hosting a guy who had a forum where he'd respond to the topics that people started themselves and posted to themselves, if they had a guy who just talked about what people asked him to talk about, i.e. telling people if they're fat or not in fucking videos because you guys fucking demanded it. Like if they found out that a guy like that who broke up with somebody for sexually extorting him, God forbid you break up with someone for literally sexually extorting you, only were in the relationship in the first place because of the sexual extortion, trying to make sense of the horrible rape you just endured, trying to make it all okay through the guise of an actual fucking functional situation, finally facing the reality that it wasn't fucking functional, terminating the relationship, saying you fucking raped me, and then they apologize.